Alright, Shalom. I like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Bakakwadash, double unto the apostles of Ezra, the great millstone that root well. So I'll tell you all the Akim out there pushing his word sincerely and truth. <clears throat> Coming at you again in day with another lesson, man. And uh, we're going to get into a little lesson, man. It's, it's, it's pretty deep. And, uh, and it's going to be quick. It ain't going to be too long. But it's it's heavy because, because, hey, just thinking about giving all praise to Yahweh Bashem Shah. Really to know just talking about the Lord, you can never go enough, you know what I'm saying? Because he's always going to go far more than what you can even imagine, man. Whatever you can think of, your your body, mind, soul, whatever you can think of, it can, it can do. You know what I'm saying? You don't know you know saying? how much credit the Lord deserves. You really don't, we don't know. You know what I'm saying? The Lord deserves all the credit. This is um, Zerach 43 and 26. Because this chapter, man, it really go in and the Lord, man, basically what Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah has done. You know what I'm saying? And what he does. And how everything <clears throat> just revolves around him. This is Rock 43 and 26. It's by him, the end of them has pro prosperous, has prosperous success. And by his word, all things consist. By the Lord's word, all things consist. But, like, when you go up in the chapter, it's basically say, um, by his command. You know what I'm saying? The sun and the moon give out his lights. You know what I'm saying? It does his works. You know what I'm saying? The sun and the moon says light, lights the night and lights the day. You know what I'm saying? Declares the months and the feasts and the, what the moon does. You know? So it's all about the Lord, by the Lord's command. Verse 27 says, We may speak much and yet come short. Wherefore, in some is some, he is all. Hey, hey, um, that's Hebrews, I think, the 11th chapter. Basically saying, You got to believe that he is. You got to believe that he lives up to his name, man. He is everything in existence, man. He lives up to his name. So, that, uh, um, hey, that's what the Lord names me, you know what I'm saying? But the Lord shows that he's everything, man. And you can't wrap around your mind, man. You just, man, you just can't, you can't speak as much, you know what I'm saying? But it's going to explain it. Verse 28, how shall we be able to make to magnify him? For he is a great, for he is great above all his works. The Lord is terrible and very great, and marvelous in his power. Hey, so that shows the balance of the Lord. Hey, the Lord is terrible, man, and, and very great. But the Lord is also beautiful as well. The Psalms, I think, the fifth chapter, I think, says um, how um, how terrible and beautiful you are. Roughly paraphrasing. You know what I'm saying? Said the Lord, he's terrible, but he's beautiful at the same time. That's that balance. You know what I'm saying? The Lord has a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living power, does say the Lord. As David fell into his hands on the right side, man. David knew that the Lord had mercy, and I, I'd rather fall in your hands, Lord, on the right side than falling on the left hand side. But instead of falling in the hands of the leading, man, the hands of man. Because they're not going to have no mercy on you at all. No shape, form, or fashion. You see it daily. In this verse 30. He says, when ye glorify, <clears throat> this is Rock 43 and 30, he said, when ye glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as ye can. But even yet will he far exceed, and when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength, and be not weary, for ye can never go far enough. Yeah, you can never go far enough talking about the Lord. Yeah, about Shema was shot, man. You can never go far enough speaking about what the Lord does, speaking on the Lord's mercy. It's multiple chapters in the Psalms. I think the 93rd chapter, I don't remember specifically, but hey, this says basically, hey, all praise to the Lord for his mercy and do it forever. It's just that every verse in that chapter says, ends with his mercy and do it forever. Hey, just, and the Lord, it, it says he's a lover of mercy, man. And he delighteth in mercy, you know. So the Lord delighteth in mercy. That the Lord have multiple ways he brought us out of the land of Egypt. The Lord literally just man, it, it chose everything that happened right now. The Lord, cause it, it, he makes it happen. The Lord make, make you breathe. The Lord make you walk, talk, say things, do certain things, man. Look. That the Lord make the wind blow, he make the rain come, he make the snow come, he make the hail come, he make the fire come. Hey, the Lord do everything, man. Mm. 
you and some he is all. He says, verse 31 says, who have seen him that he might tell us and who have and who can magnify him as he is. There's two. He says, there are yet hid greater things than these be, for we have seen but a few of his works. Hey, so the Lord have, man, so much more in store. He says that, man. And we have just seen very few of his works, man. The few is, is amazing, the thing. I'm talking about magnificent, the few they've done. But verse 33 says, for the Lord... It says, but the Lord Yahweh Shema Shah made all things and to the godly have he given wisdom. So the God made everything, but gave wisdom to the godly. That's why he revealed his secrets unto his service to prophets. Let's say the Lord, man. I'll tell you the Lord does everything, man. We know the Lord is everything. He is everything. It's in his name, man. It's nothing else. Hey, hey, the name. The name is very important. Like like, like I had did a video on, man. But like I said, man, the Lord made all things. He have mercy. He have anger. He have wrath. All these things, man. So, man, we get all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rukak, Kadash, and the Baba Ba. Shalom.